The 78th Coronation Anniversary of Haile Selassie I and Empress Menon It was the anniversary of the 78th Coronation of His and Her Majesties, Kedemawi Haile Selassie and Empress Menon, on the Pitbor Nyabingi grounds, and nature seemed to agree that the weather should be appropriately fine. The High Priest George Irons came forward in the midst of the anxiously waiting congregation with prayers of thanksgiving, while the Nyabingi angels echoed the name, Ja Rastafari, Ja Rastafari, in solemn reverence. The Ethiopian anthem was then chanted, Ethiopia, the land of our fathers, the land where our jaw loves to be. As the swift clouds are suddenly gathered, thy children are gathered to thee. With our red, gold, and green floating over us, with our emperor to shield us from wrongs, with our jaw and our future before us, I and I hail, I and I shout, I and I chant. These mystical sounds reverberated round and about in the early morning as it prepared the elects for the special occasion. The first narrator, Rasase, then proceeded by reading a preview of the 1930 coronation ceremony, which was continued by Ras Ivai. The solemn I I chant rose steadily within the joyful shouts of Ja Rastafari. Then Ras Garth commenced with a slow and timely repetition of the words of the 122nd Psalm. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates. O Jerusalem! Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. The narration then continued by Ras Ivai and Ras Sase. Ye princes and ministers, ye doctors and chiefs of the clergy, ye professors and priests, Look ye upon the Emperor Haile Selassie I, descendant from the dynasty of Menelik I, who was born of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, a dynasty perpetuated without interruption from the time of King Sahala Selassie and to our time. To him you give all obedience, not in deeds only, but even with your hearts. Then the reading of Psalm 72, proceeded by the visiting priest, Ras Ion from Barbados. Give the king I judgments, O highly Selassie I, and I righteous man unto the king's son. Highly I, Selassie I, shall judge the people with righteousness, man and the poor with judgment. The mountain shall bring peace to I and I, the people and the little hills by I and I, the righteousness man. Haile I, Selassie I, Rastafari, shall judge the poor of the people. Haile I, Selassie I, Rastafari, shall save the children of needy. Haile I, Selassie I, Rastafari, shall break in pieces the oppressor. I and I shall fear the eye, highly I, Selassie I, as long as the sun and the moon I dure. This was followed by the Rastafari family chanting the Nyabingi Creed. Princes and princesses must trod out of Egypt. Ethiopians now stretch forth their hands to Jah. O Jah of Ethiopia, I and I, I vine majesty, Thy irids trod unto I and I to dwell in the paths of righteousness. Lead I and I. Help I and I to forgive that I and I must be forgiven. 
Teach I and I love and loyalty on earth as it is in Zion. Endow I and I with wise mind, knowledge, and overstanding to do thy will. Thy blessings to I and I, O Jah. Let the hungry be fed, the naked clothed, the sick nourished, the aged protected, and the infants cared for. The royal treasurer, Ras I rely on, then came forward and placed on the altar ten ounces of pure gold, the offering of the emperor to the church. Following this, Ras al Tajo stepped forward and read the 48th Psalm. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountains of His holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, on the side of the north, the city of the great king. Then followed ten Nyabingi daughters, fully robed in white apparel, with voices raised in melodious chanting, of Ayanaya Hail Jah, Hail Jah, Hail Jah Rastafari. The reading of Psalm 80 by Ras Flacco Tafari then proceeded. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubim, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up thy strength and come and save us. Turn again, O Jah Rastafari, and cause thy face to shine upon I and I, and I and I shall be saved. Once more, Bongo Mani let the flow of the incense perfume the gorgeous background round about the tabernacle. Then there came a moment for utter silence as ancient Bongo Ken came forward with the sword of Solomon. The narration then continued. With this sword you shall chastise the wicked and do the righteous honor, and every act you shall perform shall be in service of our Savior and Redeemer. The scepter, a magnificent piece of craftsmanship, was ready to be bestowed. This symbol of the emperor's wisdom and authority was made of solid gold. On the flat bar at the end is written in Hebrew letters, the ineffable and mightiest, all the names of God. This great name stands in the middle of the pentacle, a magical and mystical symbol, which was in use in the fourth millennium BC. The pentacle was cut out on the wonderful Shamir stone, which was set in the famous ring of King Solomon. The great name allowed him to work miracles, and the pentacle gave him power to destroy all the evil influences which the devil and their servants on earth could bring against him. The conquering lion of Judah was the 225th king in the Solomonic line. On the right side of the length of the shaft was engraved in Amharic the words of Psalm 68, verse 31. Ethiopia shall stretch forth their hands unto Jah. On the left side of the shaft was engraved in Ethiopic the old ecclesiastic language of the country, the name and title of the king the scepter of Haile Selassie I, King of Kings of Ethiopia. After this reading, ancient Bongo Isaac declared in a strong and thunderous voice, The scepter of thy throne, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, is a righteous scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come. Then shall be in the gathering of the people. Through his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, Jah 
Rastafari, the Almighty Jah, creator of the universe and Jah of love. The audience, then magnetized by the magnificence of the symbols and solemnity of the occasion, listened attentively when ancient Bongo Tani uttered, Thou shalt have dominion from seas to seas, and from the rivers even to the end of the earth. The keeper of the royal treasury, ancient Irie Lion, then presented the symbolic rings to the two bishops, the one for the right hand, the symbol of earthly glory, the other for the left hand, the symbol of heavenly glory. Ancient Bongo Roy stepped forward and presented two glittering lances, after which there was a moment of silence, and then the priest commenced the chant of the Psalm 44 in perfect harmony. We have heard, O Jah, what works thou have done. Thou art my Jah and my King of kings. Deliver I and I, for we have heard, O Jah, what works thou have done. Bongo Mani then came forward and read the 20th Psalm. Haile I Selassie I, hear I and I in the time of trouble. In the name of Jah, of Jacob, defend I and I. Send I and I help from the sanctuary, and strengthen I and I out of Zion. Remember all I and I offering, and accept I and I burnt sacrifice. Selah. Grant I and I according to thy own heart, and fulfill all thy counsel. I and I will I rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of Haile I, Selassie I, Jah, Rastafari. The narration continued with Ras Ivai reading Psalm 151, a chapter not found in the King James Version of Bible. The high priest of Aksum came forward as the solemn chant, Crown Him, echoed from the angelical chanters, guided by the mystical touches on the repeater from ancient Bongo Jo. Bongo Man, crown Him! Crown him, Nyabingi man say, crown him, sun and moon bow down before him, crown him, Lord of all. Following the splendid outburst of chanting, the words of the 45th Psalm were read. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people shall fall under thee. Thy throne, O Jah, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, Jah, thy Jah hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Nyabingi man say crown him. Congo man say crown him. The narration continued, and priest Vin approached the altar and uttered the 21st psalm. The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation. How greatly shall he rejoice! He asked for life, and thou gavest it to him, even length of days, forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation, honor, and majesty hast thou laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceedingly glad with thy countenance. For the king trusted in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. May God grant that this crown of crowns be a halo of holiness and glory. May you, by your prayers, preserve your faith unshaken and unconquerable. May you be pure in heart, even as this gold is pure. And when this crown is laid aside, may you gain instead a crown of life eternal. The thunderous shouts of Jah Rastafari then resounded throughout the whole atmosphere. All hail the power of Negus' name. Let angels prostrate, fall, bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Nyabingi man say crown, 
Bongo man say crown him, crown him lord of all. A man, a man. The congregation then uttered the words of Psalm 101. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O when will thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privily slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. He that has a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. The narration continued. Especially moving was the moment when the utterance of Haile Selassie I was read. I am the least of my brethren. All nations have to bow and crown him King of Kings. All nations have to bow and crown him Lord of Lords. For it was written in the book of Revelation. It was written in the book of Psalms. All kings bow down before him, for he is the King of Kings. Following the crowning of the emperor, they chant, Ethiopian sons and daughters, ushered in the presence of her imperial majesty for her coronation. After the bestowal of her ring, she received her crown to a splendid outburst of the Empress Men in Chant, Queen of Queens. The oaths of allegiance to the emperor by the crown prince Asfawasan played by Prince Aymari, touched the hearts of everyone as he responded to the Abuna, played in part by his father, Rasase, with utmost sincerity. The ceremonial occasion was sealed with chants of Ja Ayla Little Face, Hosanna, and a wonderful chant for the coronation written and performed by Ma Shanti to the joy of the gathering. The Isis, however, went on for nine days during torrential downpour. Thanksgiving to all the faithful who cherished such wonderful moments in time. Ja Rastafari. <laughs>